Hey guys, John Norris here. I'm doing a little feeding of brine shrimp. I have this package of brine that I've had in the refrigerator for about three days. So I'm going to use my pipette. I'm going to take out oh, about 10 milliliters or so of brine shrimp. And I'm just going to broadcast feed it, meaning I'm just going to spray them around the tank and the jellyfish should get them stuck in their bells. So as you can see, not a lot of brine shrimp into the tank, so I'm going to do another pipette full and try to spray that down. And as you see, they're still alive even being into the refrigerator for up to three days. I've seen them live up to five days in a refrigerator without any air movement. And I'm just going to put a little bit more brine shrimp in there since they haven't eaten in a couple days. I do skip feedings, it's just a little bit better for water quality. And I'll finish off with my brine shrimp there. And everything is good. Now, the brine shrimp will swim around and the jellyfish will eat. And you'll start seeing the jellyfish collect the brine shrimp into their bell patches and their stomachs. And as you can see, some brine shrimp are stuck on top of the bell, which is okay, because they migrate down to the cilia and get pulled in through the oral arms into the stomach. And in about 10 to 20 minutes or so, you'll see these stomachs completely red fill of brine shrimp. As you can see on the bottom, I don't have a lot of debris, not a lot of leftover food. Everything is going up and is suspended into the water column for the jellyfish to eat. So this is a quick feeding of brine shrimp. If you have any more questions, just contact us at info at jellyfishart.com. We're more than happy to help you out. Have a great day and a wonderful Memorial Day weekend.